Hi friends, good morning. This is uh, Pradeep once again with a new trick of look up with pictures. Here uh, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to look up a particular picture based on the name. As an example, see here, I've got five pictures. One, two, three, four, five. And in the sheet two, when I go to sheet two, let's say I have, I want to look up picture uh, one and so on. I've got five pictures, so I'll write five names here. Now, what I need here, I'll just create a drop down picture show, and here I'll create a drop down which says, <clears throat> All right, uh, actually, here I've already created a drop down. Anyways, I'll create a drop down here, and when I click select this drop down, I've got picture one, picture two, picture three. So, let's say I click on picture three in this particular cell, it probably in this range. I want picture number three to be displayed automatically. When I select the name, it should automatically display the respective picture. Now here, uh, one might think that it is gonna be a very difficult task or uh, when I discussed it with one of my friend, uh, that person was saying we have to do a macro. I was wondering where, why do we need to do a macro? There has to be some other way to look up pictures. So luckily I could find out, uh, find out the solution to this. Let's say here, I'll show you one trick, uh, which is going to help me. Let's take an example. I give the name to all these uh, background ranges. Uh, I named this as PICT1. I'm creating name ranges probably. Uh, guys, you must be knowing how what are the name ranges and how to work with it. If you are not sure what is a name range, you need to first of all understand what is a name range and then only you can understand this particular uh, video. So here I'm going to create another video. Uh, sorry uh, another name range which is picture 2 here this range will have the name as picture 3 uh, so I create picture 3 this range will have the name as picture 4 picture 4 here it will have the name as picture 5 okay now see I'm going to use one simple trick here to look up the picture. Let us take an example. This name, this uh, picture's name is PICT1. What I'll do, I'll copy this cell, and since I'm using Excel 2010, I can go to Page Special and I can directly look up here Link Picture. But just in case if you're using uh, 2007, then you will have to go to Paste. And here you will see the option link picture, right? Uh, sorry, okay. Uh, I'm not sure what exactly is this happening. Let me do it once again. Uh, let me delete it. So what I'll do, I'll copy it and I go to picture link. Okay. So here I already have that picture link. Now when I select this cell, I've just copied and pasted here. As a picture link now whatever I display over here will be visible here in this cell uh, so now I'll replace this equal to dollar f dollar 12 with the name PICT let's say 4 right? the moment I press enter you see that picture is being displayed there now if I replace it with picture uh, 5 see that picture changes so what I need to do is I just need to do the same thing using VLOOKUP formula but we cannot direct, directly write a VLOOKUP formula we'll first write a VLOOKUP formula and then we'll see what are the challenge to, uh, challenges that we face and then uh, we'll go ahead and rectify that problem so what I'll do I'll create one more name range here now people you can either go to formulas tab and click on this name manager or you can press Control F3 to directly open name manager so from here I'm clicking on new and I'm defining my own name manager a name PIC pick show right because I want to display a picture so I'll write pick show here I'll write a simple VLOOKUP formula so I'll write equal to VLOOKUP open the bracket I want to look up this within this range now see uh, VLOOKUP is this is what I want to search and I want to search it over here and the destination column or the table array, sorry, column index number will be one because I've got only one column and range lookup will be zero. 
uh, how to do VLOOKUP people you might expect another video on how to do VLOOKUP in uh, future but at the moment you also need to know how to work with VLOOKUP so that you can understand this video so I click on OK and I've created the name range but the problem is it does not look up the picture because first thing it will not look up the picture because uh, the VLOOKUP that formula that we have used does not define a clear range but anyways uh, I'll still go ahead with the same mistake but I'll copy this I'll paste it here as lookup picture okay, no link to paste okay. I'm wondering why is this happening copy and here I've got this right now here I'll just replace this with the name PIC show and it says reference is not valid because the pick show name that we have given that does not return the name that does not return the name as in uh, when I click on pick pick show it just gives the name as pick 4 the output of that picture 4 or uh, that we look up is just picture 4 as an example let's see I type equal to VLOOKUP whatever formula that I have written over there I am going to write it in this cell this cell comma this range comma 1 comma 0 see here it just displays the text as picture 4 it does not display the name as picture 4 so I will have to wrap up this function under indirect formula I will just write an indirect formula and here it gives me the value error but see I'll do the same thing here in this name range I'll go to edit I'll write this entire thing in indirect sorry I'm sorry I'll edit it I'll write indirect opening bracket and here I'll go at the end and I'll close the bracket enter close now I'll just replace this text with a PIC show and enter now see here's what we have got right people you know to understand this in complete detail you have to have the knowledge of uh, the following things before if you do not know how to do the following things you may not be able to understand this video as an example the first thing is uh, data validation data validation second thing is you need to know name range third thing will be how to do VLOOKUP that's it if you know all these three things oh I'm sorry uh, the last you should not forget indirect function so if you have the knowledge of these four topics in Excel uh, I don't think you will find any difficulty in understanding this video before I wrap up let me explain the entire step once again what have we done we have named all these four pictures I we have not named those pictures but the background cells we have named those pictures and here what we did was we copied that a particular cell and we pasted that cell as a picture link picture link as in whenever we, we make any changes to that particular cell it will automatically uh, show it within that picture link and the way we have got it here then after <clears throat> copying and pasting any particular cell as picture link the second task was to locate the picture so what we did was we went to we went and defined one name as picture show and then we did just did a lookup function we lookup function and a normal we lookup gives us any of these pictures name it just displays as PICT1, PICT2, PICT3 or PICT4 but in order to uh, convert that name into a name range I mean it's already a name but to let Excel know that PICT1 is not a word it is a name range we have to use the function which is indirect which converts any particular text to corresponding reference or maybe corresponding name range people in future uh, videos you can expect uh, couple of uh, good examples on indirect function because it is indeed a very important functions to to be used with a VLOOKUP so uh, that's it for now this is uh, a video which is uh, 
uh, created by me, Pradeep Pradeshi. I'm a Microsoft certified trainer. For any further details or for any kind of training requirement, you can always get in touch with me on my email, and that is Pradeep at the rate techtrainings.net. You can al also call me on my cell phone. Uh, sorry, uh, you can also call me on my cell number 9820435736, or you can also add me in your uh, G Talk that is Pradeep Pardeshi at gmail.com. Okay, so these are my contact details. I will appreciate you getting back to me uh, with some more questions about this video or any kind of uh, help that you need. You can always get in touch with me. Thank you very much, people. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Take care.